This is Economics 101 and in this particular lecture we are going to talk about transfer payments. Transfer payments are the kind of payments that are done with no return of goods or services in exchange. Generally whenever payment is done from entity 1 to entity 2 in the opposite direction goods or services move. For example in a regular economic transaction let's say you went to a doctor in return for consultation you end up paying a certain payment so there is an, that's an economic transaction and uh, you go to a supermarket in order to purchase some vegetables so you get vegetables for which you pay some money so there is that's a that's a regular economic transaction in the case of a transfer payment there's only movement of money from one entity to another entity but there are no goods or services in return and that's why they are called transfer payments let's consider this imagine you uh, sent some money to your brother just like that you just sent some money and that is a kind of a transfer that happened from you to your brother or sister in return there is no economic there is there is no, there's no goods or services you know in, in 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 flowing in the opposite direction so that is a transfer payment and such transfer payments are very common with government and uh, individuals for example consider this uh, old age pension where uh, governments you know particularly state governments they transfer some amount of money to old age, aged people as pension the point is the state government gives some money to aged people in return there are no goods or services such a payment is called transfer payment and it's very important that we understand this clearly because a transfer payment is <coughs> it cannot be included in GDP because you are not actually receiving any goods or services in exchange there is no production that is happening you're simply transferring money from one entity to another entity uh, so it cannot be considered as an economic transaction so that cannot be calculated under GDP so you know you might uh, actually uh, get confused between transfer payment and the subsidies subsidies are completely different from transfer payment because subsidies always involve an economic uh, they, they always they are almost always are connected with an economic transaction for example let's say subsidies that are given on seeds so a farmer goes to a seed shop he purchases seeds and uh, the cost of the seeds let's say the market price of the seeds is 100 rupees government gives a subsidy of 50 rupees the farmer purchases it for 50 rupees so there it's a subsidy that is given on seeds farmer gets benefit only when he purchases that seeds so he pays 50 government pays 50 on his behalf so the seller receives 100 rupees so this is how subsidies work subsidies are completely different from transfer payments they are not the same so don't get confused between those two so the implication of transfer payments on GDP is we don't calculate transfer payments, payments in GDP.